So we have a wife who's writing in on behalf of her husband. Her husband's 68 years old, and a year ago, he um, his PSA was two, he was getting screened. A year later, recently, he's been diagnosed with PSA of four, and then apparently he did a scan and there was uh, five metastatic lesions that they found. And she's saying he's athletic, he's done everything correctly. How did this happen? How does it jump in a year? He's 68 and all of a sudden there's metastatic lesions when we thought we were fine. Well, I think this, this speaks very much to the case of should men have digital rectal exams. Uh, there are thousands of different types of prostate cancer. Fortunately, most of them make substantial amounts of PSA, and it's extremely unusual to find someone with a PSA of four who has metastatic disease. And when I say unusual, I mean less than 1%. It's very rare. But there's 200,000 men that are diagnosed with prostate cancer every year, and I don't know my numbers that well, but 1% of 200,000 is, what, 2,000 people that are going to have these unexpected and unusual presentations. And this is an example of someone that might have gotten diagnosed a lot earlier if he'd had a digital rectal exam uh, rather than simply doing PSA screening. Uh, just a good example of how many different types of prostate cancer exist. And let's just say in the scenario he did get a digital rectal exam and they didn't fill anything. Is this just maybe the prostate lesion being on the back of the prostate? Like what would... Yes, that's prostate? certainly another possibility. Uh, no guarantee that a digital rectal would have found this at a diagnosable stage, but my experience, most of the men that have metastatic disease uh, who've, who are presenting for the first time, they will have palpable uh, abnormalities in their prostate, but not all. Some will have anterior lesions, which are more rare, and again, giving an example of how many different types of prostate cancer there are. So, you know, in our previous question, when it comes to the PSA one year being two and the next year being four, can you talk about PSA velocity, what the meaning of it, why is it important to patients, and what they should be paying attention to? In men that have had previous surgery and, and some that have had previous radiation, if their PSA is rising, and if we uh, conclude that it is from the cancer coming back, then how quickly the PSA is rising tells us um, indirectly how, qu how quickly the cancer is growing. And that's a very important indicator of how serious the situation is. PSA doubling times that are, you know, if the PSA goes from two to four and it's taken more than a year, that, the prognosis for that individual is actually excellent and their survival is going to be excellent. If the PSA doubles in a month, then you have a, a situation where the disease is much more aggressive and clearly um, they're gonna need aggressive treatment. Where people get confused is they wanna extrapolate those facts and those realities to people that have never been diagnosed or people that are on active surveillance that have a, an intact prostate that's untreated. And in those individuals, the lion's share of the PSA is coming from the prostate gland, not from the prostate cancer. And that uh, means that PSAs going up and down are much more likely to be due to prostatitis, inflammation, not from the cancer itself. And uh, active surveillance studies have clearly shown that you shouldn't use a rise in PSA as a trigger for going off of active surveillance, men that, are, that have low-grade cancers that are being watched. So PSA velocity or PSA doubling time, these are interchangeable terms, are almost irrelevant in uh, monitoring or screening. That doesn't mean to say that if you have a PSA of four, it doesn't matter. It just, what it says is that if it was one last year, or if it was one five years ago, you just take it as a PSA of four. A PSA of four is a borderline uh, normal PSA, depending on how big the prostate is, and probably needs to be at least further investigated to make sure it's not a problem. But if it rose to four quickly, or if it rose slowly, it doesn't have any power to tell you whether or not you have cancer or what kind of cancer you have. Hey everybody, it's me, Alex, and our mascot here, Hunter. He's obviously licking my hands because we have lots of treats for him today. But yeah, we just wanted to let you know to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come out with new prostate cancer videos every week. And go ahead and check him out on Instagram at Sir Hunter the Dow. Also, check out our website, pcri.org, for more information about prostate cancer. We hope it helps.